What's going on, y'all? Keston from the Geeks at the Roundtable, and I just, before the video starts, I just want to say, there's some time, like, some little instance in the video where you can hear my breath as I'm recording, because, like, the way, I, the way I had my phone, it was a bit close to me, and also I was wearing a mask, so, you know, it's, hard, it's a little bit hard to breathe through those things, but hope it doesn't ruin the experience of it, of the interview, and I hope you enjoy, because it was the interview was really fun and really informative. So, with that being said, on to the interview. How did the opportunity for Carol and Tuesday come about? Um, so, it was a audition, actually. But it was an online audition. So, it was just me submitting a video, a video clip of me singing. And, um, I got the role, surprisingly. I honestly, though, didn't think I would get it. Like, it took, like, literally two or three months for them to get back to us. Mm -hmm. So I was like, eh, I didn't get it. Oh, mm -hmm. next opportunity. But then, the phone rang, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, do you have a particular favorite song from the show? Or? I would say Round and Laundry. Um, actually, that's a song that I got to um, participate in the songwriting process as well. Oh, so, awesome. yeah, um, the song was written by Tsunomai Sasan to a Japanese um, artist and she wrote the song in Japanese and um, I was there to kind of translate the words and like make it into an English song mm -hmm. so I really enjoyed that part because I am a singer-songwriter myself mm -hmm. I write all my songs uh, my original stuff I write my song myself so uh, yeah that was really fun and mm -hmm. the song is amazing right the <coughs> scene is amazing too I mean, it's just the whole vibe of it is just relaxing, just, you know, you could be doing a simple task, but we'll be doing laundry, and then all of a sudden you're just like, I think I just made a hit. <laughs> and I'm like, I, I just know that created my goodies. <laughs> so, was there like any particular part or scene in the show that you relate to Tuesday? Like anything, Relate? Yeah, like anything that stuck out to you? Mm, I mean, the whole, whole thing is very relatable, right? I mean, Carol and Tuesday, both of the characters. I think that's why the show was such a big hit. But, um, I guess where, Ma, I mean, I've, I'm definitely not from a like, like wealthy family like Tuesday, but like my parents were pretty strict on me. So when I left my parents' place and started living alone and started to really um, be responsible, of myself and taking my music career really seriously, it kind of, I sort of kind of related myself to that scene where she pushed herself out of the house and tried to, you know, reach her goals and it sort of kind of reminded me of that time when I saw that scene. <laughs> I mean, honestly, like, whenever you reach a goal just like this, mm -hmm. I mean, I have to, I, I'm telling you as someone that's just starting to understand music, you have amazing stuff. <gasps> Thank you! <laughs> like, it's like, it's a breath of fresh air for me. Because a lot of artists today, it, I feel like it's all just automated, just like, okay, well we have pop music, we know exactly what to do, fill in the blanks. Mm -hmm. You definitely have more of a, you structured it yourself, mm -hmm. and I hear it. I hear your message. Thank you. <laughs> and do you have, oh, this is more on a performance side. Do you have any vocal techniques that you try to stick to when you're like rehearsing or is there anything that, you know, like you even talk to you? Not really, honestly. I just sing with my heart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I don't have any techniques for singing. I actually don't consider myself a good singer, but I'm just a passionate singer, you know. I The message really matters to me actually than the technique or how I how my voice sounds mm -hmm. so um, I always make sure that I'm in the zone when, when uh, I try to keep my mind in the right place when I'm performing and singing recording as well okay and I do have a, a random question so in terms of you know like you said earlier it was an audition mm -hmm. um, type of Five. Would you like to do another anime at any point? Or? Sure, sure thing. Come on. I mean, <laughs> anytime. Come on, bring it, bring it. <laughs> Is there like a particular genre you want to try or just uh, overall? Just overall, I'm really 
um, open for anything. I actually though, um, after Karen Tuesday, they heard me on Tuesday and I did, it's not an anime related um, song, but I did a, I did a singing for game, like Nintendo Switch software, but Ooh. I think it's not in America, it's called Buddy Mission Bond. It's a Ooh. Japanese I, Switch game. I think I've heard of it yeah, before. Really? It does sound familiar. Yeah, no, because I'm like, wait a minute. Uh, There's like four um, boys and one girl in the yes, game. Yeah. And the I've girl, definitely heard of oh, it. Yeah, really? The girl's name is called Sui. Si Chang and I did the singer voice with her and I sing like me four or five songs. Ooh. Yeah, we did already like two or three shows in uh, Japan. Oh, nice, yeah. nice. So that was the opportunity that came to me because of Carol Tuesday. So I was really th thrilled about that and I hope there's more opportunities like that. Most definitely. Yeah. Like, we need to come out here, we'll definitely for tours. Like, we, we need to stop up now. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, bef like during your um, like when you sang the songs for Tuesday in the anime, did you have any like pre warm up like things you do beforehand, like uh, or like a routine or anything? At the recording. Yeah. Uh, well, because it was a duet with Nai, which is a singer voice for uh, Carol yeah. on Carol Tuesday. Um, I did make sure to communicate with Nai. Because um, literally the recording sessions were the only time that I get to see her. Um. And, yeah, I mean she lives in, a, in the states, and you know we did all the recordings in Japan. There was yeah. not a lot of time as well, so I did make sure to communicate and just mentally communicate. You know, like not yeah. technically. We were talking more about like random stuff to, <laughs> to get to know each other and to yeah. be in the same vibe. So that was, I guess, the routine that we had. Okay. Okay. Um, do you still keep in contact with anybody from the show? <gasps> oh my god, good question! <laughs> Actually, um, Alyssa, that does the singer voice for Angela, character yes. Angela, um, she actually lives in Japan now. Really? She used to live in Australia, but now oh. she moved to Japan. And that's why I got get to like hang out with her more. And we actually did a recording the other day. So Ooh. there might be a song coming out with me and Alyssa doing together. We'll see. We'll see. Looking forward to that one. <laughs> mm -hmm. and, uh, Any more questions? That, that's all I have. <laughs> no, seriously. No, no. You, you there? Uh, wait, you don't mind. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Um, you mentioned about like uh, some having to be able to approach the technique and vocal performance to like, your passion in music, mm -hmm. songwriting. So for people who are just um, getting in touch, having to be able to watch Carol on Tuesday, mm -hmm. having to be able to see you perform as, as the character, um, what do you feel um, so the message should be for them to be able to see? From Carol on Tuesday? Yes. Uh, to follow your dreams, to never doubt yourself, to always just go for what you want. Don't overthink it, I think. That's, that's the message. A powerful message, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that's about it. Mm -hmm. Alright, so thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time. Hope you enjoy the rest of the con and Oh you guys too. <laughs> thank you. Thanks.